All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is another day that I get to beat Michael. Yeah, yeah, record shows. Want to know, Ivan? Well, how about the last couple of cars That's that fine. I beat recently, you, you know? 2024 or something, a different year? It's been almost a year, buddy. I've yeah. been beating you. But anyways, we got the cars back to the shop. On the way back, I already started ordering parts. Did you start ordering Oh yeah, parts? I got my airbags coming in, new seats coming in, knocking it out. So. How about the twist? You fix my car, I fix your car. That's fine, I like mine. But we're gonna find out which one's better, guys. Should we put, you know, a little bit less money? What, you paid five grand or something like yeah. that? I kind of paid double, 12 grand. Is it worth investing that much more money? Is the profit gonna be there? We're about to find out, honestly. So we'll see if it's worth getting expensive cars, cheaper cars. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm gonna win because, uh, you know, it's a Corolla over a Challenger. <laughs> Looks like a Civic, but anywho, American horsepower, definitely cooler. Not gonna lie, guys. Is the market there? Maybe it's a smaller margin of people trying to get a more horsepower car. I don't know, but I got a lot of work. I got like suspension work to do. I got Bondo, paint, but no airbags. Yep, well, no I already got my airbags coming. I had to actually order new seats completely because they don't just come a little part of it. So yeah. that should be fine. Current airbag, we got the seat belts out, get them rebuilt. I got some work to do with the rear bumper. Hopefully, get to salvage that out. I don't know what I'm gonna do by my scratches and stuff. We'll see. Figure it out. No Plus, my, my knee assembly should be here. It was only like Two hundred dollars for an assembly. My parts are pretty cheap, so Fender I think should be coming in today tomorrow. But I got some body work to do. Mine's gonna come out cheap, Michael. I'm gonna sell it top dollar. Good luck. I hope you do. But I think I'm gonna win again. Cause look at that thing. You, I mean, if you had a choice between these two cars, come on, right? It's easy. I mean, twenty thousand dollars or twelve thousand dollars. Yeah. Big difference. That's true. Depends what you need to do, but we'll see. Let's just go ahead. And let's wrap it and get it off and. Yeah, I'm not gonna help you this time. You got it, Ivan. Well, you can take my bumper, but no big deal. Let's go ahead. All right, we'll see you later. Mm, love the beautiful blue. I'm gonna give it a wash and try to figure out what to do all those scratches, but we'll figure that out later. First step is getting it off the trailer. I wanna secure that front lip right there. Got me a nice little bag of zip ties. Oh yeah, because I don't wanna rip that off going on the ramps, because it's gonna get low and that's definitely gonna be a spot where danger zone, but yeah, no big deal. Let's get it off, unloaded. Check out our bumper again, make sure everything's good, but hopefully be able to reuse it. I'm gonna have to figure out my clips and stuff because it looks like I ripped off some parts, so that's gonna be fun. But overall, beautiful ride. Okay, that zip tie held up, that bumper is still on there, the lower lip is on, that's awesome, came off no problem. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a wash. I mean, it's just hard to tell with all the dirt on there, what's good, what's bad, what's scratch, what's not. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the inside, outside, and then work on a clean car, because this has been sitting for a while, so it'd be nice to be able to clean off whatever I can, and then see the extent of the damage. Get it inside and get those seat belts out for sure. This is gonna take a little bit to get them rebuilt. It's still warm out here. It's crazy, guys. I know it's fall, but we're still a good, 85, 89 degrees out here. Let's give her a bath. Guys, there we go. Got it washed and she looking good. But now you can definitely see the scratches more on there. Scuffs, hopefully that'll buff out. So I'm gonna try to get that buffed. But man, it's just literally that bumper that was on there, putting all these scratches on. That's a big one right there in the center. Man, so sad. Some of these do go kind of deep. I think some of it's just a clear coat, but then some of them actually get into the paint. Uh, that's annoying, but either way, no big deal. We knew that coming in. So my plan is to vacuum it, take those seats out, and get the seat belts out, the airbags, get it all disassembled. Hopefully my parts will come in soon and get it back together. And then worry about that rear bumper too. Work to be done. So like I said, might as well vacuum it up. It's a lot easier to work on a car clean because you gotta crawl in there, get those bolts out and stuff, than it is to work on a really dirty car. So I might as well clean it up because I know it's gonna get dirty anyway, but still, might as well make it look better now. Driver's side, passenger side. Still 30,000 miles, 2022. This thing is like new. Definitely a little moldy right there. Ooh. No big deal. I'll get it cleaned up. Moving forward. Okay, 
guys, there's the bolts for the seats. That's like a weird little special um, star bit. So, got that going, and it should come right out, zip it out. guys got the seats out um, basically there's the seat belt retractor and then there's the tensioner so the tensioner deployed as well so this thing just kind of scoots in like an extra protection but hopefully the new seats I get will have one if not then I have to get that also which is another hundred something dollars the buckle and the retractor so great okay seats are out unfortunately this one's cut so I'm not gonna be able to get that rebuilt we'll see if not just order a new one whatever driver's looks okay. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the headliner or I'll take out the seat belts first, whatever. Either way, plenty of work to do. Dropping the headliner isn't too bad. It's just usually those visors are kind of a pain with all the little clips and stuff, but should be able to get it. It'll be a lot easier to get these out on both sides if I don't have this headliner in my way. It's a little torque bit right there and then another one right there, which isn't bad. I like that, instead of a complicated, intricate little locking mechanism, which never really goes to plan, this is nice. Bolt on, bolt off. Same thing with these airbags, they're usually not that bad. It's just like a fender. Plug and play, bolt on, bolt off. So, not too bad. Let's get it. This guy might be a pain. We'll see, have to pop these off and see what's behind door number two. So there's the roof curtain airbag. Like I said, just unbolt it and bolt it back on once I get the new one. Should be able to find the plug on that side over there. One thing at a time, no big deal. I'd rather be doing this than body work, for sure. Just pushed over that plastic piece to the side. That way I could access my seatbelt and get that out. Here we go, seatbelts are out, airbags are out. Getting closer. Basically got all the bad parts out. It's time to get the good parts.
All right, so we got the Corolla onto the lift. We got it jacked up. Let's check out the suspension. It's definitely hanging out. We got the axle literally just hanging out right there. But uh, let's go ahead and take all this apart and hopefully not find no more damage. All right, just like that, we got the old suspension off. We got all the new suspension on. We can turn the rotor, so we got a used strut. Um, used lower control arm, brand new inner tie rod. So this thing is ready for the alignment. So let's just get the tire on here, probably check the alignment and then we can start on the body work. All right, so we got it off the line machine. It was good. We gotta start working on the body work. So we're gonna go ahead and took off the front and rear bumper really quick. We're gonna take off this fender. Um, fender we're gonna replace, so we're not gonna have to worry about that. The side skirt, we're gonna have to take that off so we can fix it. This door actually has a little dent right here. It's, it's a little poking out, I don't know how. So we'll have to fix that. Over here might be good. This will fix really quick, not a big deal. The side skirt, the bumper a little bit, front and rear, just scuffed up a little bit. So nothing too crazy, but let's get to it. All right, just like that, we are inside the paint booth. We got the fender, we're gonna jam it all the way. We got the car taped up, sanded, scuffed. We got the rear bumper, sanded, side skirt, and also this trunk lid had a little bit of damage, so we fixed that. This thing is ready to get painted. So let's go ahead and mix up the paint and start putting it down. All right guys, here's the old rear bumper. I'm gonna try to get this thing reused. So basically tear it apart, not tear it apart, just take apart the plastics, everything else, get it sanded down, repainted, recleared, and I think it'll be fine. Nothing too crazy on it. I mean, a little scratch right there, but definitely salvageable. No big deal, so we'll get that prep for paint.
All right, guys, got my airbags in. So basically, there's the roof curtain airbags from both sides. That's nice because there's a lot of little pieces, and it'd be nice to go ahead and put that back on there before I forget the location and then get that back installed. So might as well get that knocked down one step at a time. So nice and clearly labeled. So I know which one's left hand, but it seems like my wire is cut right there which I actually need to plug in this side, but good thing I have the old one, so I should be able to use that. So it's nice not to throw anything away, guys, until you're done, because you never know what you're gonna need, and that would have been such a pain to find that little wire, so it's good to reuse it. Little things like this could definitely slow you down. Even the chairs I came in, one was blown, one wasn't, so I was like, ah, so I had to actually return that. I got one, but went for the other. So there's my driver's seat. Like I said, my passenger one came in and the airbag was deployed. It was all ripped up and I was like, that's no different than mine. <laughs> so we sent that back and got another one on order. But unfortunately this guy is also retracted. So that's blown. So I have to get one of those as well for both sides. Little things add up, but it is what it is. No big deal. All right guys, here we go. Putting in the next airbag, just like that. Plug and play. Just kidding, we got some bolts and we actually have some real plugging in to do, but I mean, really, I'm bolted, bolted on a new one. No big deal. Get it done no time. Try and get this airbag installed. You gonna give me some space? Wow. All right. All right, so current airbags are in, and now basically we can put the headliner back in. So hopefully I remember all the little pieces go, because a lot of little brackets, a lot of tight little finicky little clips and stuff that I have to get in there. And for some reason, a lot of stuff just fell down. So some of the brackets that are behind it just fell off. So I have to put those up, make sure they stay up there, and then get the bolt right in there perfectly. Uh, it's a little annoying, but I think it's still better than Bondo and you know bodywork and stuff like that. No big deal, we'll get it. Guys, try to get that handle in, the little clip over there, um, the visor needs to go in. But I need basically this piece for the handle, which is over here with a bunch of little pieces here and there. Um, also, the handle has these special little bolts that are gonna go on there I need to find. And there's like, this is behind, that's between, that gets sandwiched in between that as well. Just great, but can't quit, gotta get it done, so just gonna keep going, figure it out. Beautiful, there we go guys, nice and easy. Yeah, you're happy, you're happy with it? Looks good, high five, okay. So now I'm gonna go work on my seatbelt. I actually had to order a new one because that passenger side right hand was cut. So I'm gonna get that going, I'll get my seats in. Nice and easy, you just can't quit, you know? Even though a little hard sometimes, just don't stop, but looking good. All right guys, so I was basically able to scan it, but I'm still left with one more code. But even to get over here, it's kind of hard. I actually had to log in, make an account with Dodge. It's this other program. You can't just erase codes. You have to register, whatever. Anyway, I got it, but now it says the driver seat buckle tensioner is still deployed. So I have to check that out, make sure I plug that in properly. If not, man, I got some more problems. All right guys, so it's the next day. All the parts, are dry and we can touch them we can put them on so let's go ahead and get this fender installed then we put the side skirt in the mirror little moldings and put the bumper together so this thing should be 
put together today, which is really exciting because Michael's still working on his. So let's get straight to it. All right, before I could put my rear bumper on, I had to get some new brackets. Just spent $100 on Mopar, but basically right there's a piece and then there's another piece. And same thing on the other side, and mine looks like it's all ripped out of place. So I have to get that off and attach my new brackets. Luckily they come with a little hardware, so that popped in, screwed in, and I'm ready for my bumper. Which one do you want? Huh? Do you want the blue one or the white one? Of course, the blue one. All right, Michael, just like that, I got mine done before you, so I win. Oh, whatever, I was right there. I mean, same day, same time. I'm telling you, airbags deployed, takes a lot of time. Still yeah, have a little issue with that, but it's not a problem. <laughs> you know, Mine's good, Mine, look at it, it's good. It just has one little clicking noise. The strut mount we got used was bad, but 
it's not gonna fall apart, you so know? He's not finished either. You're not it's, finished, I'm not somebody 100%, can, you're not 100%. Somebody can drive home like that, but mine, Michael, it came out cheap. My parts were cheap, my labor was cheap, my, you know, a lot of labor I had to do, but I didn't have to buy that many parts, which is good. I'm like $6,800 in it. That's not bad. So. That's not bad. For 2021 with like, what, 60,000 miles? Yeah, that's pretty good. I see them for sale for about 12 on the low end. You know, also salvage title, more miles. So I should get 12 for mine, no problem. That's not bad. I mean, I got 12, eight in mine, so less than 13,000 for a 2021 with 30,000 miles. So I With uh, scratches still all over It's got a couple it. scratches, but no clinking noises. Drives super smooth. Airbag lights on? Still a little bit, it's working on it. Yeah, see, I think people will be more worried about an airbag light than a strut It's now. coming off though, 50 bucks, we're done. Probably a day or two, no big no. deal, so. But I seen it real for like 19, hey, 19,000. But, but you owe me some money for painting your car, your bumper. So technically, I'm, I should be like $100 less. So you're talking <laughs> me $100, so I'm like 6,500, you know? I'm at, yeah, close to 13, let's say, roughly. I'm gonna sell mine for what you have in yours. Probably. Yeah. That's pretty sad. So you you should make around four or five grand. Yeah. That's kind of what I'm making too, though. If yeah, I'm but how much more? You had to 19. spend more money. No, a little bit. Yes, yeah, so I invested around thirteen. Kind of double yours, but you're gonna sell what you have and make the same amount of money. I guess. Yeah, that kind of sucks. You got it for a good deal. I got it for a good deal. It's a Toyota, but we'll see how long it takes to sell them. Cause Toyota, some of them yeah. will take forever. If you sell yours before mine, technically you're winning. You we know, still haven't posted them so. for like, so not a hundred percent, but we do want to wrap up the video, guys, cause it's been a while and I'm challengers sure, can be yeah. smaller. I'm pretty sure I won, Michael. You just say defeat. It, I, I was, got a better I deal. Go for tie, guys. Good. How about tie? Well, leave us a comment down below. We you know? didn't sell it. Both of us didn't sell it. So I'm gonna say tie. It's profit range is about the same, which is kind of sad, cause I invested I'll, double I'll, the amount. So. I know, but what if I post mine for more? You can post it for whatever you want, but yeah, you yeah. can sell it. But so, I don't know, guys. It's definitely a 50 50, but I still got a scratch in the hood, airbag light. He's got some clinking noises. Still got to clean the interior. I've been pretty dirty, but I, either way, I think we were in the green, both of us. So, But who good. won, though? I think it's a 50 50. I'm gonna no, go for I don't a think so. I think, you know, last time I lost, so this time I won. It, it's not that clear. I, it's, well, I mean, for the value, yeah, I would say you got it because you got the same amount of profit with half well, the investment. So, yeah. So I could have bought another car. Yeah, I could have. So yeah, I can't do that. So, all right there, guys. So if you buy it really cheap, you could probably make more money at the end. Percentage not, wise. Not always. Yeah. Not, al <laughs> not always. Not always. <laughs> but Sometimes you get them, you know, cheap and they're, they're so cheap. This is true. But I just couldn't go buy. This is so nice, the challenge. But what, I mean, what would I rather drive? Yours or mine? Definitely. Definitely this, his. This you is know, so, so smooth. I mean, the Bluetooth looks so I nice. I mean, you look, you know, that's, that's like a young teenage you know, girl driving it, so <laughs> not me. But no, it's pretty sweet. I'm pretty done, I'm pretty stoked. I think we did pretty good. But leave us a comment down below. Should we do this again? Should we amp our budget? Should we make Michael work harder? We don't know. It's about two days. It wasn't bad. Take it apart, put it together. It wasn't. Yeah, I had like a week in it. <laughs> I definitely had more time, I think, in mine than yours. But <laughs> definitely. I mean, this is what we do. You know, you make so. money, so there it is. All right, guys. Leave us a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.